All right, everybody, welcome to the video here for the lesson on all the different angles in a triangle lesson number nine. So for lesson number nine, we learned that we can use some of the things that we already know about triangles and apply them to different types of triangles, like for number one. For number one in the homework, we have an isosceles triangle. I know that because of the two little slash marks here and here. If we have an isosceles triangle, I know the two base angles are the same exact size. So since I know the vertex angle is 24, if I subtract 180 minus 24, that gives me 156. That number, 156, is split between these two congruent angles, A and C. So if I divide 56, 156 by 2, I get 78. So that means angle 1 is 78 degrees. For number 2, I can do this question a couple different ways, but let's use the rule we learned today. So we learned that the two non-adjacent sides to an exterior angle are going to have a sum that adds up to 117. So I can say angle 2 plus 37 is equal to 117. If you subtract 37, you're left with angle 2 being 80 degrees. For number three, again, we have this isosceles triangle situation. So these two angles are the same. So I can say angle C is also 2x minus 5. So then I can say x plus 2x minus 5 plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 180 degrees. So if I add up everything, I have 2x plus 2x plus 1x, so that's 5x minus 10 equals 180. Add 10 to both sides. 5x equals 190, divide by 5, and I get an x value here of 190 divided by 5, which should be 38. For number 4, we're using the same thing we did in number 2. We have these two um, non-adjacent angles to the exterior angle. They are going to add up to be this exterior angle. So I can say x plus 3x plus 8 is equal to 6x minus 32. Combine up some like terms and solve your equation. Again, I know I say this all the time, but I'll keep saying it. I am not teaching you algebra. I am teaching you geometry. If you can't solve an equation, you've really got to come and see me for extra help so we can go over the concepts of solving equations because when we're getting to this point, when you're making mistakes by solving incorrectly, it's not really helping you too much, I promise. All right, last one in the homework, number five. It says below that this is uh, going to be an equilateral triangle. So A, D, B is equilateral, so I know all of these sides are the same size, and all of these angles are the same size and are 60 degrees. It then says that the triangle DBC is isosceles, and it says that these are the congruent segments. So that means that BC is also the same size as BD. And it wants us to find angle C. Well, if that angle is 60, what that allows me to say is, well, this angle is 120. I don't know what the heck that thing is. So if we have 120 here, I have this triangle, and I can even redraw the triangle off to the side if it helps. Here's 120, and I know these two angles are the same. So I can do 180 minus 120. That leaves us with 60. That 60 is split evenly over those two congruent angles. So 60 divided by 2, well, that's 30. So I can say angle C is 30 degrees. Just so you know, this was a regions question. That's a really good test question or quiz question, or quick quiz question, all those different things we can use there. Hopefully this video helped. Um, if you're looking for the video for the previous lesson's homework assignment, um, I did not make it, and here's why. The only questions that really matter for us in that lesson is question number five, which we did a ton of examples of in class, and question number six, which I explained in a previous lesson that we talked about in class as well. So. If you're really confused or you really want to go over the, the questions here for lesson number eight, um, please just come and see me and we'll kind of look at those 
right? We're really just focused here on lesson number nine and moving forward with our triangle stuff.